my name is James Thorpe. I'm the editor of International Security Journal. I'm delighted to be speaking today with Mohammed Murad, Vice President of Global Sales and Business Development at IRIS-ID here at Intersect 2025 in Dubai. So, Mohammed, can you tell us a little bit about how you ensure your systems remain at the forefront of biometrics, please? Well, you know, we're always looking for innovation, yeah. and new things. Um, how do we improve performance? How do we protect people's identity by making sure uh, we have all the countermeasures in place in, into the technology? We are always working on enhancing the algorithms. We now, as you remember last year, we introduced the, the concept of fusing the two yeah. biometrics together, face and iris, yeah. that has really taken adoption in, in, into the world. Um, and the idea is, Iris is the most accurate biometric. Now we are including with the most convenient biometric and it allows us to be able to enhance the authentication process. Fantastic. And when you look at the idea of accuracy and reliability as well, what's really setting your solutions apart? I mean, you touched on some elements there. Can you tell us some more though? Well, let's just continue the conversation of the two yeah. biometrics. You know, as, as known in the industry, Iris is the most accurate biometric. Okay. Yeah. Now we have including that most convenient biometric by having those two together it allow us to provide you a better authentication experience it doesn't matter if the authentication is for a national id or is for border crossing or is for as simple as identifying an individual to go through and perform a job at a factory floor yeah. or securing the highest level security at a data center or a military skiff yeah. Anywhere you require an identification yeah. or, or identity authentication for the individuals with having these uh, high level of biometrics for convenience and accuracy for iris and face. Fantastic. And obviously you mentioned the individual there and you think about the idea and the concepts of the user. How are you ensuring that, that you know there's total data security but also compliance with a variety of different standards? Yeah, so, you know, we have been... Um, in this business for a very long time and I, we were at the forefront one is meeting all the standards yeah. okay we were the first one to push to have making sure the image that you're capturing can be secure yeah. and stored and be owned by the government or whatever agency is looking for yeah. and and additionally we provide all the encryption tools to make okay. sure the data is completely secure Furthermore, we also provide the ability, so let's say if a customer doesn't want the biometric templates to be sitting on the device, they want something behind the secure side, we offer that capability. So you can take an image, the identification is going to happen on the secure side of, of, the, of the system, maybe in a data center or behind the wall, as, as we say. So, plus, we support all the standards that are required from a security perspective, from the image processing per perspective, image storage perspective. Additionally, for GDPR compliance, we allow our customers to be able to store the template, secure encrypted template on a smart card. Yeah. So you have a distributed database, so you don't require to have a centralized uh, biometric database system. Fantastic. And obviously you mentioned that last launch you had last year, and we're here at Intersect 2025 this year, which is a, such a great platform to kickstart the year for, for everyone involved. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what the future holds for you as a company? So we're pretty excited about the inclusion of our technology in many different applications. So uh, let's talk about one of the devices that we announced about two, three years ago called IT100 Iris Time, which was co completely focused on uh, time and attendance applications. And our goal was that we built a device that is unique to anything else out there for time and attendance allowing our partners, app partners we call it, to be able to build an application that sits on the endpoint of the device. So now they can interact directly with the, with the customer. So they will be able to, uh, customer can go or end user can go, an employee can go at the device, they can identify themselves, they can see how many vacation hours are left, how much overtime they have done this, uh, this week. So we, we are excited to, to get this thing out in the app space yeah. where these applications can be part, our device can be part of those applications. And it's been very successful in the last 12 months. Fantastic. Look, always a pleasure speaking with you and have a great show and good luck for this year. Great. Thank you Thank very you. much. Cheers.